Thank you, Mr. President. I rise to take note of the answers given by Senator Cormann to my question today relating to the lack of action this government has taken to support the arts and entertainment industry. I asked the minister whether actions spoke louder than words. His response was yes. But of course, as we go through what the government has actually done in relation to the arts and entertainment sector in the midst of this pandemic, it's quite clear that they speak a lot, but they don't do a lot. There's a lot of promises made and very little delivered. The Prime Minister stood with Guy Sebastian, you know, the Australian Idol superstar, back in June. He promised that finally, after waiting for months, the arts and entertainment industry would receive some funding. Two months later, while arts industries, while workers in the arts, those in, creative, in the creative sector have struggled with very little support, we still see no money flowing. I was puzzled about this, so I asked the head of the Prime Minister's own department a couple of weeks ago in the middle of the, uh, as part of the Senate's COVID committee. Under questioning, the department secretary said, well, no, no, no money is going to flow until after restrictions have lifted. Well, that is simply not good enough. That is not what the Prime Minister had promised. It's not what he told Guy Sebastian he was going to do, and it's certainly not in the spirit of the announcement that he made. Now, why does this matter? It matters because the reason our Australian artists are struggling right now is because of the restrictions themselves. That is why it's the arts and the entertainment industry that have been the amongst the hardest hit. As soon as those restrictions were put in place in March, entire shows, productions, events were shut down overnight. People lost their jobs, they've lost income, they've lost access to insurance. And of course the JobKeeper supplement has not been made accessible to many of these workers or these businesses because of the nature of the gig-to-gig -gig type of environment that they work in. So artists have been left out largely by JobKeeper, and now they are not even getting the money they were promised. So it seems under this government's watch, words are fine, but action is lacking. Under this government, as long as they can get a photo op with a few celebrities, they think they've done their job. They think they've done their job. Well, it is not good enough. Australian artists can see this for what it is. The Australian people can see this for what it is.